Uh, so here's another new product by iFlyRC.com. Uh, they've been coming out with uh, quite a few interesting new products. This one is a video transmitter, a VTX, and they call it uh, the Force VT5804. So this is uh, 5.8 uh, G and 48 channels, and it's power switchable. So it's got 25 milliwatt. 200 milliwatt and 600 milliwatt settings. Different features that this one has is the uh, the antenna connector here. This is an MMCX connector, so it kind of looks like that. And they do give you they do give you these two uh, pigtails. Well, actually, one is a uh, a monopole, monopole antenna. So this is a 5.8 antenna. So this would be the lightest antenna that you can put. Uh, of course, it's not polarized. So, but you know, for uh, flying close, for instance, in a racetrack, uh, you don't, you know, you don't need uh, uh, one of those uh, circular polarized. Uh, this should work okay. And uh, they also give you this other one, which has the standard SMA connector, uh, with it's kind of like an extension. So you would mount this on the frame and that goes there so it's you know it's able to uh, uh, to rotate uh, and uh, so it, it keeps it pretty safe so in a crash it won't it shouldn't uh, tear that out so and to take it out it's not that bad either you just pull it straight out and they also give you, of course, they'll give you the uh, the connector for video power and video in and audio. And this is flexible silicon wire, so that's pretty pretty good. So they're saying this weighs in at six six point eight grams. Uh, let's check that out. Let's see what it weighs. Just plain board. That is. 6 grams, so 6.8, I don't know, maybe with the uh, with included wire, which is kind of long, so you end up cutting that. So with that, it's 7.1, so so yeah. Uh, if you include the uh, antenna, So 7.2 grams, and with the SMA connector, well, that's heavy. 10.2 uh, grams. So, so you save some weight if you just go with the linear, as opposed to this one. Uh, so, some of the features on this one, which are also interesting, uh, uh, they do give you this. Uh, also, they do give you this. Uh, Color instructions to so give you all the connections and the the channel mapping. So pretty good instructions. It's kind of easy to follow. The only thing that's a, a little bit uh, confusing is the uh, the fact that you can connect this to S bus to an S bus uh, signal. Uh, it does say that it, you can go through the uh, FC so I guess you would have to uh, maybe enable pass through uh, as bus pass through on the uh, on the FC and it says that you're able to switch channels by using your radio so I, I'll give that a try I don't uh, the instructions on that is not that clear but uh, I'll I'll check it out and see how that works and uh, ah, also this is uh, 7 to 25 volt uh, uh, capable so so 2s to uh, uh, to 6s but I uh, usually I don't like to connect it to that high voltage not even 4s uh, I usually will use a um, one of those D Sun voltage regulators and I'll set it to uh, to about 9 volts so that way you uh, you can also use it with 3S and just supply uh, 
uh, power from a voltage regulator that kind of protects it against any voltage spikes or any any uh, noise from the ESCs. Uh, those voltage regulators usually work pretty pretty good. And if you still have some noise, you could all, you could add a, a capacitor, uh, a 16 volt capacitor on the output uh, and output of the regulator, and that that usually works pretty well. Get re get rid gets rid of uh, most of the noise. So pretty interesting. Uh, uh, VTX. This is meant to be mounted on the uh, on the stack uh, above the FC. Uh, this is the usual 31.5, I believe, 31.5 by 31.5. So it's the standard size. It's not uh, 20 by 20 or anything. Uh, so pretty pretty well made. The uh, the PCB is, as you can see, pretty. Uh, pretty good quality. Uh, all the components are nightly, uh, neatly uh, uh, soldered. So uh, we'll see how this works. I'll I'll, uh, I'll test it uh, with the signal in and video out just to and see if I can manage to uh, uh, to change the channels via the S bus. Uh, I'm not sure how how to get that to work. So so we'll I'll give that a try. So I tried uh, hooking it up to a uh, FR Sky receiver uh, through the S bus input, uh, which is this white cable, uh, so that uh, I wanted to see if I could uh, do the ch channel switch via the transmitter, but I wasn't able to. I just couldn't get it to work. I I just don't understand the instructions they give you. Uh, uh, it's kind of a I don't. I, I can't make sense of it. It says S bus function connect to flight control, S bus signal, set any the sixth channel as you can switch channel one, channel eight repeatedly. Set the sixth channel on transmitter to two and make throttle range is big. So I just couldn't understand it. I tried all kinds of uh, different things on the transmitter, uh, doing the mixes assigning channel 6 to sticks to switches it just wouldn't work so I just gave up um, that uh, you know if it works if somebody gets it to work I'd like to know how that's done uh, it would be kind of a neat feature to have but uh, it's alright I guess you could always use this uh, this button to, to switch the the channels which is the only function that they say that gives you through the SBOS you can only switch channel 1 through 8 uh, so no biggie I guess you can just reach in and press the button and change the channels uh, so uh, through this button you it's one button and you do everything through here it's change the channels uh, change the frequency and change the power setting uh, depending on how long you keep it pressed so uh, here it's on the 25 uh, 25 milliwatt setting so the red LED will blink once every three seconds um, so that's 25 milliwatt but uh, my expert RC RF meter is showing 62 milliwatt so obviously it's putting out more than advertised so uh, in some cases that could be a good thing in other cases maybe not as good um, so if you're in a race with a lot of uh, people, that I don't know what much of a difference um, not having lower power, you know, 25 milliwatt, not having 25 milliwatt, I don't know what much of a difference that will do, uh, that will make. So uh, I wouldn't think it would make that much of a difference, uh, uh, you know, like from 25 to 60 milliwatt. Yeah, it's a little more than doubling the power but uh, should uh, as long as the channel separation is good on this transmitter uh, it should be okay I think uh, if it's not good then even at 25 milliwatt you'll be stepping over each other so so the main uh, the most important thing is that the channel separation is it's good you know there's no um, overspill from channel to channel uh, so, you know, there's no noise or spurious uh, spurious uh, uh, noise. This is how you, you change the, uh, the channels here. So this is on 
the uh, D band, which I think is the Fat Shark band. So that's channel 1 or 5740. Uh, and it, the power does change depending on the channel. And that's channel 2, 64, channel 3, 64, channel 4, still 64. Channel 5, channel 6, channel 7, it's a little bit lower, 57, and channel 8, 54.95. So, so a little bit of difference between the channels, uh, about uh, not a lot, about uh, 6, 7 milliwatt. On other bands, it's a little bit more. I think uh, I did see uh, 50 or 49 in some of the channels. But not a lot of difference. So if we hold this button for 10 seconds, then we get into power switching mode. So let's hold it for 10 seconds, and uh, and that's in power switching mode. As you can, as you saw, the the blue LED went all the way up here. So these two together, right there, that means it's 25 milliwatts. Oops, uh, it, it got out of it. You have to press it again quick. So so let me do that again right there so then you press again and then that's uh, that's the 200 milliwatt so that's actually putting out about 500 milliwatt and now let's see the uh, and then that's the 600 milliwatt is putting out 777 milliwatt so it's a little bit under underrated uh, so uh, it's putting out more than than what it's rated here so so a good thing in some cases and maybe not so good in others so depending on what you need it for so so I'll put it back to 25 milliwatt and it heats up at uh, at 600 it heats up it was heating up but uh but I was still able to leave my finger there for a while without burning so once you're flying, uh, you're gonna get flowing air. So it 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 runs pretty pretty good. It seems to be a pretty efficient, uh, pretty efficient uh, amplifier, efficient transmitter here. So so not too bad. All right. So that was the uh, uh, showing the power output uh, on this uh, trans transmitter. Pretty interesting format. Uh, this would go on the on the center stack on the electronic stack above the FC I guess and then uh, you, uh, and then you would use these uh, MMCX uh, pigtails uh, to connect your antenna so overall it seems to seems to be pretty good I still have to test it in the air and see how it uh, see how it performs uh, given the um, additional power they give you I don't see why it wouldn't perform pretty well so so pretty pretty good uh, overall uh, so you can get this from myflyc.com uh, I'll provide the link at the bottom uh, I believe it may also be available at, at other uh, distributors for iFlyRC I, I believe Heli Heli Direct uh, or Get FPV. I've seen them. They've been selling uh, iFlyRC.com parts, so you might also want to try checking them out for uh, local for uh, local delivery. I mean, like if if you want it uh, delivered quicker. I don't know if they have it in stock. Uh, all right, uh, that's the review. Thanks for watching.